Hi, and welcome back. Welcome back to day three of the Amazing Traffic Academy. So yesterday we talked about the three levels of traffic. Level one will be where you're going to start. So if this traffic game is new to you, you're going to want to learn level one strategies. These are a little less complicated than the other levels. And the other thing is, once you do scale your business up and move into level two and three, you're going to always want to use level one to test your campaign. You want to test your display ad. You want to test your capture page and your sales funnel. So today, what we are going to do is, <clears throat> sorry, actually go and look at the different websites where we can find this traffic. So without any further ado, let's go right over into my monitor and we're going to start doing this. So where can you find traffic? That's what today's training is going to be all about in the Amazing Traffic Academy. So the first type of traffic I want to talk about is influencer. So if you remember from the previous two days of training, an influencer is somebody that has a following on any of the major social sites that we have today like Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. And what you will do is leverage their followers, right? Because now these guys can be anywhere from like 10,000 up to millions, right? And maybe if you're just starting out, you don't have a big list. So this is kind of a good way to get started you can leverage their audience right so what they would do on your behalf is talk about your product right and they they're used to being in front of the camera right so they'll do probably a way better job than say you or I could right since you know say if you're just starting out and you want to trust them and it keeps their you know that feel for that channel that audience is attracted to that channel basically because the way they represent themselves day after day so them representing your product in this way probably will now have a good chance of running traffic to your business so one of the first websites we're going to talk about today is called iFluence and this is basically more for Instagram influencers, right? So if you want to go and have one of the Instagram influencers promote your product, this is a good website to go to. I'm going to also, after this little in section, we're gonna go over into the web browser and I'm gonna just show you these web pages and we're gonna quickly go through them. The other thing is I've got all these links down below this video, so don't worry about writing them down. I've got, like I said, they're all included in below in this video, and I think I tested them, and they should all work. So another site to go to is Shoutcart. Again, this is mainly targeted toward influencer traffic. Now this is basically an influencer will actually just give you a shout out. So it's they have huge audiences, right? But it's more brief, like it's just. I don't know what the time would be, 15 seconds or something like that, versus going through the whole maybe a minute or two minutes of talking or promoting your product, right? So it's just a different way. You know, not one, one no one way is better than the other. It's just you got to try different things. Another website out there is called Scrunch. This is targeted more towards the Twitter influencers right so if you like Twitter and that's a good place to go right now you don't need an account on Instagram or Twitter or anything like that right this is just something like you're gonna to go to this website you would sign up and that's how you you know get everything started Isaiah is a very large network so these guys have YouTube influencers Facebook and Instagram mainly so you can go to Isaiah and spread your campaign across the three different social sites using Isaiah, right? So we just kind of, <clears throat> sorry about that, we kind of just briefly went through the four websites here. So let me just alt tab over, hopefully I don't mess this up, and I'm just going to kind of show you 
real quick the different websites. So here's iInfluencer. So we were mentioning before that these guys mainly target Instagram influencers. So when you come in, and if you're looking for an influencer, you want to come in as a brand. So you want to click on the I am a brand blue button to get started. And it's a good idea to really just kind of slow down. Like I can't go through a lot of the details here for you today because this video would be like five hours. And I know I won't make it. You may, but I know I won't make it that long. But you just come down. You know, like just like I'm doing now, I would just slowly go down the front page, right? Just kind of read about it. And then the other thing is, you you know, you could also go in over to Google or YouTube, right? And do a search and see what other people have to say about, you know, this website. And every single website I show you today, you should do that same thing. But you can see, here's all, you know, they got over 20,000 influencers, right? So that's huge. Now you'd go down through and take your time and go through this website and you're going to filter down the influencers. So you want to make sure you find an influencer that matches your product, your brand, right? You just can't pick any influencer. It doesn't matter how good they are or how popular they are. If they're not lined up with your brand, their market, their audience, right, isn't going to be lined up with your your uh, capture page, your sales funnel, right? So nothing's going to make sense to them. So they'll click on it and then go, go away. So that's the important part. You want to get that market match, right, that targeted audience. So that's I influence. Let's go over to Shoutcart. So here again, this is Instagram influencers, and you want to, right? So these guys, sorry, they give shout outs. So you could see right here, like this is just one of the influencers in there, like 65,000 followers. Could you imagine that? So if you went to this particular influencer, right, and she gave you a shout out, that's 65,000 people. So that's how much you can scale up your business. So you might not even have an email list yet. You might not have anything started. But if you went in to here, opened up a campaign and started running them to your business, imagine that. But you should spend definitely spend time. So you can see here the different influencers, right? I'm not going to really go through much of this, but here's an influencer here. She has 32,000, almost 33,000 followers. So, you know, 30, you know, 30 bucks, that's not bad. So that, you know, this could come in really handy. So this is a quick way, like I said, that's why it's in level one. It's a quick way to run traffic to your business. Um, I was just looking here, let's see what's under brand and agencies. So you'd be obviously a brand, you know, that's you. So you just have to come through here, scalable campaigns, daily. So I don't want to spend time because we got we got a lot to go through. So, um, but like I said, this is definitely worth. You just want to take time. Once again, this is shout cart. You know, you can go on YouTube and just um, put in the search box shout cart. See what other people are saying or how they you know you shout cart because there's no way we can get through all the details here, right? So scrunch is a website for finding Twitter, in mainly Twitter influencers, right? So this is another good one to use. Um, I haven't done any advertising on Twitter, so I haven't used this website, but this is, I'm not ever saying no, but I'm trying to master one traffic source at a time, and this will probably be one, maybe, you know, I'll eventually move into. Um, Isaiah is a the biggest one of I think of all these four we've talked well these three we talked about are four. Um, so these guys cover Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram for influencers, right? So you you'd want to come in as um, a brand here and start going through and looking just at their website and information they have. You know, so you can see some of the influencers here and the prices, but you really got to find an influencer that matches your niche, right? Your product. So that's kind of the four influencer websites. There's many more. 
trust me, there's many more. Just trying to bring a few to your attention that I've seen in the past and used a couple of these. Like I said, I've never done anything on Twitter before, but I've through Isaiah, I've gone through Facebook and YouTube with them. So the next source of traffic, still in level one, is called pay-per-click PPC traffic, right? So a big website out there is called, well, a big network, I should say, is called the traffic source. Now this is basically, or is, email marketing. You would send them an email swipe, and they would send it out to their email list. Again, these guys have a huge email list. So if your list is rather small, or even if it isn't small, this is still a great way to get to grow your email list as well. So this is a pretty simple, straightforward process to use. And we're going to look at this website as well. I just want to kind of go through these three, and then we'll go back into the web browser. I hope there isn't too much bouncing back and forth. So Archimax is another big network, and these guys do display ads. And this is basically, if you look at like, I don't know, like a site like USA Today, they have the three different sections like sports, health, business, um, cooking, right? All that stuff. Archimax is the same way. So, and we're going to look at that, and I'll show you what a display ad is and what I'm talking about. And that's kind of a a cool thing to do right and this is pretty quick turnaround traffic as well so another website we're going to just talk about today is called Udemy so this is basically where people you're going to go find sellers of solo ads so this is strictly strictly email mark uh, traffic so you're going to write up again an email short email with your link in it whether that's to your offer or to your website you're going to send it to a seller and he will sorry broadcast your email to his list this is when people will start then coming to your landing page and opting in that person then will land in your email list so that you can market to them later so let's go back to the web browser and we'll move over to another tab so this is the traffic source right here and like I said, this is a big network. And again, this is something you should uh, take time to spend, you know, to spend a little time with. If you have any questions, look, I mean, I'm just looking down here. They've got to contact us. I would just, you know, either email them. Let's go in there. Yeah, look, you can just send them a quick email to get started just to find out a little bit about it. Um, I haven't used the traffic source, but I heard it as a really good website. You want to check out some of their pricing. So you can start out, they have ultra clicks and, okay, product the best traffic. So this is probably their higher quality traffic right here. And look at, you can buy, you know, you can start out with a thousand clicks and buy up to 10,000 clicks. So that you know, just seeing that, you'd know that the, he has a big, you know, there's a big network. So for a thousand clicks, it's just over $800. So that's 80 cents a click. So this is just something you want to keep in mind. And we talked about Archimax. Now, this is the big display network here. So you can see how they have business, entertainment, health, and spirit, right? So let's just go into that section. And these guys are known for their display ads, right? So let's let the, give this page time to update. There we go. Now, up here at the very top, this is an ad, right? And we're going to come down here. Let me just close. Let's see. Let's close this a little bit. Um, there we go. So, and if you come down, so here's like, Right, this is an article. This is all pretty familiar to you guys, but you can see here's another display ad in a smaller region, right? Let's just keep going down. So we have other articles, right? Other articles. So and usually obviously down near the bottom. So we just keep going here. Going. So on this particular page, they don't have an advertisement. But let's just go in. Uh, Let's see. We'll just go right into here and see what we get. So now we're going into 
ask Amy and we're gonna see so you can see here's some ads up here right let's close here just to clean it up a little so we have the ad on the top we have the ad, look at we have a bunch of ads over here on the right we got an ad just in the middle of the page so these are what they call display ads and when you go into Archimax and you start working out a campaign they're gonna ask you you know do you want a big display ad at the top of the page or the right side of the page I don't know what these sizes are I can't remember offhand but they'll have the pricing for all that and this is something these guys will work with you and they have a huge huge list of, you know a following or whatever you know right so there's a lot of people that come in here again what you should do is look at on Google or YouTube sorry and just kind of do a search on Archimax spend a couple hours to learn a little bit more but I'm like this is a great way to get started so if you don't have a big list this is a great way to grow that list right um, so we can go over here. Whoopsie. Sorry. Let's see. Let's put, flip that down. I don't know. Um, we can go in the home and leisure, but you get the idea, right? You have these different sections and you got the advertising. So these advertise, right? This advertising matches, right? They're not going to put like a sports related. So if you have a sports store sorry you know they're not gonna throw your ads here they're gonna throw it in the sports section right so that's that's what I kind of like um what I want to do see I got this blue up here in the corner I want to talk about this in a little later so we might come back to Archimax when we talk about retargeting traffic so for <clears throat> so let's just move on sorry about that so here's you to me these guys are just a network that have solo people that sell solo ads so this is where you write up a short email with your link in it that's either to your offer or your website you will send it to one of the sellers on this site and after you make the your account with Udemy one of the first things you're gonna do is click up here and click on find seller and you'll go through and they have the rating for all the different sellers right and you can actually on this site and message each of these sellers right so if you you know you just want to know like about your niche and if their list matches your list and all that so I believe tomorrow's training is going to talk about solo ads what sellers and how to get started getting you know getting traffic from solo ads and that's what we're going to talk about more in depth tomorrow so that's just a little sneak preview okay yep all right, so let's just stop here at Udemy. I'm sorry for all the bouncing back and forth. So let's go back to our thing. So what we just talked about were the traffic source, Archimax and Udemy. These are typical websites where you would go and it's pay-per-click traffic, all right? So we talked about like email marketing being Udemy, Archimax being display ad, but it's still pay-per-click. Now the next section I wanna talk about is Google and Bing. I'm going to kind of make this section fast because this video is going long and I think we all know about Google and Bing but this is where in case of Google you would use Google AdSense. You would create a campaign with Google. They would put your target you know ad will appear within Google and that you know those are the ad uh, things marked with the ad icon near the top in the bottom there's usually about three maybe on the top and three in the bottom between your search so these are targeted ads so if you're in a weight loss niche you would go to Google create your campaign you would put down you know your filter your niche as weight loss so anybody searching for weight loss your ad would appear on that search page either at the top or the bottom then when they click on your ad it would take them to your capture page that this is where the, they can put in your their email address would take you to your, either your website or your offer after they have done that Bing works in the very same way so another great place 
to get traffic? Social media traffic. We all know these, right? It's YouTube, Facebook, Snapchat, LinkedIn, and Instagram. There are more. I think I already left off Twitter, but you get the idea. Now, this traffic can either be paid or it can be free. So if you have a YouTube channel, you can put links to your offers in the video description, right? Facebook, you can do lives on Facebook and you can do a shout out or, you know, talk about your product there, you know, doing a short video or maybe you do a post, right? So the, the post would have a link in there taking them to your offer or web page, right? So that would all be free. This traffic is generally a little bit slower because people have to be following you and it just takes a, uh, compared to paid traffic, it's a lot slower, right? But this is something also to have going as well as with paid traffic. You want to do both. So YouTube and Facebook, we talked about it. So the rest of it, basically Instagram, LinkedIn, Snapchat, they all work about the same way. So display traffic, we talked a little bit about that. We talked about Archimax, but there's a couple other websites I want to just throw in there as well. And they're all about the same, so I'm just going to go through them here quick. Rev Content, Taboola, and Outbrain. So this is where you basically would just create an account. And again, these guys have, these websites have a large audience. So this will allow you to reach targeted traffic and lots of eyeballs on the pages, right? So to give you an idea, to, oops, let me back up one. Give you an idea what I'm talking about. So this is ref content right here. And if you're curious, you'd always be coming in as an advertiser, right? You're not a publisher. Or maybe you might be, but if you're look, looking to run traffic, you'd want to come over and click on the advertiser section. And they briefly go through just, you know, what you need to do. And you can contact them here. Like I said, I'm, I've never used these guys before. I heard they were good. Um, I'm just showing you, like, just websites where you can get started. Taboola is good. They're a little bit more. I found them to be a little bit more expensive than the other sites, but they are good. But again, it's the same thing. When you sign up on this website, you'd come in as an advertiser, right? And once again, just kind of watch the videos, go through, you know, just see what they have to offer. Um, Outbrain is exactly the same way. Again, you'd come in if you wanted to go through the Outbrain network, you'd come in as an advertiser. And you just literally go through, I'm, you know, this video is kind of long. I'm trying to just make you aware of these websites and bringing them to your attention because there's, you know, I could probably spend a whole hour just going through some of these, you know, how to sign up and how to run a campaign. But that, you know, like I do and a lot of people do, you can go to YouTube, contact these guys, you know, it will take several, con you know, several times, right? Yeah, to find, every, you know, all the details you need if you start finding that. That's what you want to do and you're interested in. Um, CPA traffic, there's a big one called Max Bounty and G4 Offers is another good one. Let me uh, flip back. So what CPA traffic is, oh, I didn't even, sorry, I didn't put these guys. I thought I had the websites up here. Uh, let's see if we can put them up here. Let's do Max Bounty anyways. So remember, these are this is a CPA network, and you would come in as an advertiser, all right, and you would look at this. So what CPA is, is cost per action. So you can work it out with these guys saying, yep, so I'll pay by, instead of paying by click, you'll pay by a lead would be one way, for an example. You can still pay by click. They do pay, pay per click in here, but you can say, hey, I want to pay by lead, right? So when somebody comes in, onto your landing page, a lead is when they put their e their information in, right? That goes into your email list. That is a lead. A click is just somebody coming over to your landing page and then just leaving, right? They don't do anything. So you can say to Max Bounty, hey, I'll pay you whatever, you know, a dollar a lead or two dollars lead, whatever, you know, whatever it is. 
you can come in. So people clicking on the website, you won't be paying for those. You'll only be paying for the lead you get. Or you can say, hey, for every sale I get, you know, I'll pay you 30 bucks or 10 bucks or 100 bucks, whatever it is, right? So you can also do that with Max Bounty. Uh, they also do phone calls. Maybe, you know, you have the information and for every phone call that you get from your offer, right? You can pay Max Bounty. So that's all, you know, you'd have to, again, take your time, go through the website. It's not too bad. These guys are pretty big. They work with you. They're really, really well known. If you ever go to Offer Vault, these guys are on there, which has a lot of their the products that Max Bounty has on Offer Vault. So that's pretty cool. So I know I went through CPA traffic. This is level two. Remember, we were talking about this yesterday. So once you master level one, this is where you want to scale up your business and really get your business going, right? So once you got it figured out, then just take that same thing and scale it up. That's why running traffic so nice because you can test small and then once you know it's working, scale that up, right? Um, similar web. It, this is a what I call spy traffic. So this is, you can go to this website. You do pay, it does cost, but it's not too bad. You can actually kind of spy on your competition, right? Oh, in a friendly way, of course. So if you're in the, I don't know, uh, weight loss niche, you can go here, filter on weight loss, and you can see what your competition is doing and where they are placing their ads. So just to give you a little idea, this is what similar web looks like right here. And again, this will take, you know, you guys, you know, if you're new to this, you, you spend a little time in here. And they've got, you know, from, you know, all these different things you can sign up for, right? Um, you would come in and, you know, you could do in, uh, sales, research, marketing is where you'd be interested in, right? And this is pretty good. They've got... Um, a good website where you can actually learn what this is all about. I don't have an account with similar web, so I can't even show you really what this website does. But if you go to YouTube, it's a great source to really see like what this does. But the main idea is like if you have your competition and you're saying, huh, I wonder where they advertise. That's where similar web comes in. You can find out where they where they do that and you can see their numbers it's it's a pretty cool thing and the last thing I want to talk about is retargeting traffic so this isn't really a level but this is where you're going to take all the traffic that you ran like and the you know, ad roll will keep track of people coming to your landing page whether they opt in or not their data saved and the way that's done is by using a retargeting pixel in your landing page so you would go into ad roll like let's we can just use them for an example you'd go into ad roll right here you'd create your accounts um, I can log in hopefully my password and everything is saved but you would create an account with ad roll Um, it's been a while. I can't because I've been using my retargeting pixel for a while. I'm not even sure. But you'd come into AdRoll. There's a section in here where you grab some code, right? And doesn't matter whether you understand it. I don't understand it. But you want to basically copy that. And that usually gets, you'll go back into your uh, capture page and it gets pasted into the top of your capture page. What that does is everybody that comes to your capture page, these guys collect their information on like the website they just came from or the IP. Now, that's all stored in AdRoll's database. So you would start like right here, you'd come in and create a campaign. And basically for pennies on the dollar, they would start showing your ads all over the internet. So they'll track the people that are in their database. So I guess I didn't explain this part, but have you ever noticed like if you go on to Amazon and you purchase like, you know, a great pair of sneakers, right? All of a sudden, or not even purchase, just looked at them, right? 
then all of a sudden you're over in a completely different website and you'll see that ad somewhere on the top or the side those same sneakers you were just looking at or all right and it doesn't matter what website so this kind of follows you around on the internet now what would happen is so say if you're on some other website doesn't even have to be an Amazon that ad roll ad pops up and you click on it right that will bring you right back to the same landing page that you're just looking at whenever or that same web page so that's what ad roll does and I'm gonna let's I'm gonna show you an example of how you can tell what's going on so remember this is Archimax and we talked about this display ad so if you come up here this is an ad roll but this is ad choices they're retargeting just like ad roll so that's what this blue little icon you know next to the X is so this shows me that this is a retargeting ad right here not just somebody placing the ad um let's close here a second I'm trying to think all right no this looks like yep another retargeting ad And maybe like Archimax only uses what we say ad choices or what is it? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, ad choices. Maybe they don't use ad roll. Maybe they might. But I was hoping to find an ad roll retargeting ad. But that's essentially the same thing. So if you found a retargeting ad by ad roll, if you clicked over here, it would show the ad roll, right? So that's how that works. So instead of I don't know, say this is like I don't know. I'm just making this up because I don't know a dollar click. Maybe with ad roll, you know, it's probably 10 cents or something when somebody clicks on this. So you can retarget your same traffic, right? So they've already been to that page once. So they're kind of, this is what they call warm traffic. So they're probably warmed up a little. So if they click here again, I don't want to do it because I don't want somebody to have to pay for nothing. But anyhow, that's the idea of retargeting. I know, I'm sorry, I went through all this fast. It was just a lot to take in today on day three. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'm trying to just give you an idea of what all these different levels of traffic in different websites that go along with these different types of traffic because we were just talking about it. So I try to show you the actual websites. And tomorrow, what we're going to do is talk actually about making and running our first traffic source through solo ads this is and the reason why I pick solo ads it's just something basic to get started but once you see the idea whether you use ad or display ads or social media or an influencer traffic the idea is you know almost the same the way everything works at least go you know uh, funneling them into your capture page and then hopefully they you know opt in and you take them over to your web page or sales page so with all that being said Thank you very much, and I really appreciate appreciate you for hanging in there. <laughs> you can see that I barely made it myself. No, nope, this is real interesting. And like I said, if you want links to all these web pages, they are down below this video. And thank you very much.